Hi everyone, welcome to Petra's Happy Place. I wanted to take um, a few minutes to give you a couple updates. So this past weekend, um, as usual, I usually spend Mondays with mom and it was a particularly difficult day again. And um, it, it was, yeah, it was really difficult. You can ask Mr. Happy. I was not happy when I came home <laughs> from seeing her. And, um, but I had somebody come in to see me today. Well, not to see me. They were there to make an appointment. And come to find out, this lady, her mother, passed away with dementia a year ago and she works or worked for years with dementia patients Alzheimer's dementia patients so we talked for oh good 20 minutes and then she gave me her phone number and her email and you said contact me and she said contact me anytime so Wow, God knew what I needed. <laughs> and I had not even gotten her first name. And I jumped up out of my seat and gave her a big hug. And, and she said, what was your name? I said, my name is Patron. I said, what was your name? <laughs> and we were hugging on to each other. And it's it was so affirming. And I really liked that. So, yeah, that's something that happened today. And it was kind of interesting because I was on the phone because mom called me on my cell phone at work after I told her for months, do not call me at work on my cell phone unless it's an emergency. It wasn't an emergency, of course, but she wouldn't stop talking and this lady across the counter was like, I said, can I help you? She says, yeah, you're going to get off the phone? <laughs> and I said, yeah. And I'm like, I, I, got, I, got, I got to go, bye. And, and I just hung up the phone and I apologized to the lady profusely. And I said, I'm so sorry. That was my mom. And she's got the beginning stages of dementia and she just can't and she goes no we're, you don't need to say anything else I know exactly what you're talking about and she was just drawing me out and wanting to know all the details so crazy stuff so um but good stuff yesterday was a bad day today's a good day it's like a roller coaster every week sometimes every day it's a roller coaster so let me show you what I've been working on real quick. Um, this I'm pretty much done with. Um, in fact, I am done with it. All I have to do is weave in all the ends. Um, what did I cut? Yeah. This is Happy Mama's sweater. And okay, this is the inside out. You know, it's inside out. But look at that. It turned out really nice. So I've already, she's already put on, when I had one sleeve done, she's already put it on. So I know it fits her. And I had to put on, I might, I might go back and put on another row of double crochet I think it just it looks pretty but she might want another another inch um, I think it's about half an inch to uh, three quarters of an inch extra if I put another one on so she might like it that way I don't know I'll have her try it on I can always add another row so and then before I give it to her though I have started this is going to be my first project in here, but I started a, a project journal and in the project journal, I'm going to, I'm going to write specifics of that down. Um, 
and I mean it's not going to be like I mean I guess it could be kind of like my pattern but it's it's using other people's patterns so it's not like I didn't write it you know but I want to put down specifics for her so that if I ever decide to to do another sweater for her I will have all of the dimensions and all of the stitch counts and all that kind of stuff so the other thing I started and I'm I'll be probably done here by tomorrow if I keep working on it that is and it is a scarf that I'm working on and I, I think I told y'all I wanted to try this stitch I wanted to try this stitch to make it look like a herringbone okay and I did it so it's here oops I didn't put a stitch marker in there hold on just a second I got a didn't put a stitch marker in and I got the thing out okay so it's this long but look how neat that turned out that's one side and that's the other isn't that beautiful i think i'm going to make it like um a longer oh man i just saw i missed a stitch right there look at that ah i gotta go back i gotta take all that out Good thing I was showing you all before I got it done and then realized it was off. Wow, that would have been embarrassing, especially if I want to give it to somebody. Well, I guess I'll be frogging half of that out tonight. But it's going so quick and it's fun. You know, it's, it's, it's like a mindless thing. Obviously, I wasn't paying enough attention because I missed the stitch, but... But it's kind of a little mindless thing, but um, it, it, it's fun, you know, because it's the same pattern, you're just changing colors. And it, so it gives you a break. So anyway, I like it. And I think I'm going to make it like a long, like an infinity type scarf that you can wear as an actual infinity uh, scarf or... You can double it up and make it like a, a bigger cowl, like, you know, about this size. Um, and I think I'm going to give it as a gift for Christmas. I think that'd be fun. And I think the person, I'm hoping she will really like it. I haven't decided. It's going to be for an aunt. An aunt. How are you going to pronounce it? Aunt, aunt. But I haven't decided which one. So anyway okay y'all that's all I had for today um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day whatever time you're watching this I always say that at the end of every video because I'm filming it at night so I'm thinking night you're gonna watch it but some of you might not be watching it until tomorrow so it could be day or it could be in a different part of the world in which case it might be night who knows Anyway, y'all have a great one. Thank you for coming um, and watching me. And I hope I didn't find, or hope you didn't find me too silly. Have a great one. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.